it was in the summer of 2013. I had just moved into Brown's Court, out of residence, and had just started this really crappy housekeeping job. A terrible job. <laughs> terrible, <laughs> awful housekeeping job. I remember walking in for my first day Sorry, second day. It was my second day. And uh, this, this bubbly, chatty girl came in and was just like friends with everybody right away. And instantly also became friends with her. I was cleaning one room and he was down the hall and all I heard was this like, the best laugh ever. <laughs> like just like echoed down the hall. It was so sweet. I'm like, wow, who is that guy? And it was him and I was like, Whoa. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the first thing I remember about him. I remember walking home by myself one day. And all I hear is Bob Marley music pumping from like a back And I go over and it's him and he's waving me over and he has all these fresh strawberries out and I just kind of chilled on his deck and we had a little hangout and I feel like that was our first real time alone. Yeah, definitely. And then you asked me? I asked you out there and then we had our first official date a week later, yeah, not I even that. So. Yeah. 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 And we, we went to Victoria Park and it was a beautiful sunny day in May. Like you don't get a gorgeous Shorts day. and t-shirt day. Like, yeah, like incredible. that in May anymore. And we played Frisbee and we watched a cruise ship come in yeah. and then we went and got ice cream after and it was just like a perfect It was unreal. First unreal day. first date. One day I'm just laying, We're laying in bed. bed. I just looked over and I don't know if you like smiled or laughed, it just clicked and I just remember saying like, I love you. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> you say it whenever you want to say it, but just so you know, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, good afternoon, everyone. And I want to welcome you all here today, and I'm very happy to be sharing in this special day with everyone. And um, I want to take a moment to welcome that all those that are here today to celebrate. I know it means the world to the bride and groom that their nearest and dearest are surrounding them as they become husband and wife. A wedding is such a wonderful occasion filled with hopes, dreams, and excitement. And we are here today to celebrate the love and commitment that Aiden and Sarah have for each other and to recognize and witness their decision to journey forward in their lives as a married couple.
I, Aiden Northcott, take you, Sarah Van Eyerstein, to be my lawfully wedded wife. To, wife. to have in the hold, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until death to his parent. I say without his saying. Take you, Aiden Northcott. Take you, Aiden Northcott. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. Have and to hold. Have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Love and cherish. Love and cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Together with all of your friends and your family today, and by the power vested in me in the Marriage Act of Prince Edward Island, are you ready? Be ready. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Hello. <laughs> I first met Aiden eight years ago on one of our first days of residence at UPEI. I remember meeting him and thinking, what a cool dude. My first interaction with Aiden was in Patrick Holland's room, and the first thing Aiden did when he walked in was pull out a can of Keith's. How Nova Scotians that? <laughs> Aiden has become a very big part of my life and has had a profound effect on me. His friendship has helped shape the man I am today. When Sarah finally brought Aiden around, I was relieved to have another guy to hang out with when the girls were hanging, hanging out. I had no idea that this friendship would turn into a partner in crime and best friend. Over the last six years, I've had the privilege of watching this couple learn to love each other and grow as a couple. You guys are my best friends, and I can't wait to see what's next for you guys. Sarah, your radiance fills this room with beauty and smile. We are so proud of the woman you have become and the beautiful bride we see today. From the time you were a little girl, you always knew what you wanted and worked hard to achieve your goals. Today is one of those achievements. We couldn't be happier with the man you've chosen to be your soulmate, share your dreams, and set your new goals with. Love you, Sarah. Aiden. Six years ago, you had asked Sarah out on a date, and of course, she said no. <laughs> you were persistent, and she finally said yes. From that day forward, she never looked back. You have blended so well with her family over these six years, and we are so proud to call you our son. Sarah and Aiden, we love you both very much. As my mother said to her children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, love you a big bunch. It says, to my son, I sometimes wish you were still small, not yet so big and strong and tall. 
For when I think of yesterday, I close my eyes and see you play. I often miss that little boy who pestered me to buy a toy, who filled my days with pure delight from early morn to late at night. We watch our children change and grow as seasons come then quickly go. But our God has a perfect plan to shape a boy into a man. <laughs> Today, my son, I'm proud of you for all the thoughtful things you do. I'll love you till my days are done, and I'm so grateful you are my son. Aiden couldn't have picked a better partner. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses. Sarah, and welcoming Sarah into our families. Sarah and her family, Mr. Tori, to our families. Sarah and I have been friends for a very long time. Before our classes started at the University of Prince Edward Island, we discovered that we were in the same 8.30 a.m. history class. I remember thinking to myself, perfect. I have someone to eat breakfast with, walk to, and sit with in class. And boy, was that the beginning of an amazing friendship. What started out as the girl I walked to class with has turned into my best friend. And we forged a friendship that has just gotten stronger and stronger over these last nine years. And I am so thankful to that 8.30 a.m. history class for bringing us together, because without it, I wouldn't have her in my life. <laughs> Sarah and Aiden dated for two months before she brought him around. She was worried we didn't like him or he wouldn't fit in. And Sarah, I can now tell you that you were very wrong. We have loved Aiden from the beginning, and we are so very happy for you too. <laughs> He really knows Sarah so well, and I could not have picked a better partner for my best friend. Sarah and Aiden, you guys have truly found your person in life. You two make each other even better people, and I love you both so dearly. The way he takes care of me, the way he loves me, the way he smiles at me, Everything about him is so perfect, and I love him so much. Can't wait to marry him. <laughs> like, if I feel like I'm like shivering, not because it's cold in here, just because I'm so excited that this is the person that I have found, and like she has found me. And, like, I'm so excited that we get to spend the rest of our lives together, and they're making that commitment to each other because we've been together for six years, and it's not nearly enough. <laughs> it needs to be a lot longer. Thank you.